So you're starting your YouTube channel. That is so, ex why are you breathing like that? Cause I'm filming my first YouTube video tomorrow and I'm super nervous. I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know what to do. All right, all right. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to prepare for your first YouTube video shoot. So you're starting your channel, you're starting. The thing is we've got all kinds of ways that we can help you be ready. First thing, be yourself. If you're a little weird, that's okay. Be a little you weird. You can be weird. Okay. Be a little weird. The <laughs> truth is, is that it's so important that you are yourself. We see it so often that clients will come in and they'll be like, I watched this YouTube video and it was like, they were running around and they were yelling and they were like, you hey know, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you smash that like button and hit subscribe. Ring the little notification bell. And then when they try to replicate it, they're so awkward about it, right? It's so yeah. uncomfortable and so unnatural. Like I would never do that in my YouTube videos because right. it just doesn't make sense for my style. I have my own style and I'm going to find people that resonate with my personality type. Along with being yourself, my top tip is to get out of your head and into your body. This is something that's maybe a little more mindset kind of focused, but most entrepreneurs know the balance. <laughs> this is Alicia getting into her body. <laughs> this feels right, honestly. Most, most entrepreneurs understand the value of mindfulness practices, meditation, yoga, physical exercise, drinking water, eating nutrition that gives you what you need in your body. All of those things really apply to a YouTube channel. The day before, you want to make sure it's a low stress day. The day that you're actually filming, you want to make sure you're eating foods that are comfortable for your body, drinking a lot of water. If you've got any types of insecurities, maybe go get a facial. Make sure your hair is done before you do the shoot. You don't want to be thinking about that stuff when you're filming because people will be able to see the thinking behind your eyes. Ultimately, if it means you're going to meditate for five minutes between takes, if you need to do some yoga stretches, do whatever you need to get grounded, get present, and feel like yourself before you start filming. The problem is, is if I were to meditate, I would probably fall asleep oh. in between takes. Mm. So, you know, find whatever works best for whatever you. Whatever works best Shimmying for works best for me, meditation, See yoga, whatever. <laughs> We're all, we're all a little different. Some are weirder than others. Dance it out. I like to turn on music. Oh, yeah, that lighting. is a good way. Get really weird. Dancing helps. <laughs> you've got to get, whatever it takes, you've got to get your mind set and ready for the videos. Because if you're thinking about yourself, how you look, how you sound, what will people think, you're not going to give them the benefit of your whole self. And the truth is the best videos come across when you care about who's on the other side of the camera. And if you're worried about yourself, they're going to see that. Don't you think? Yeah, it, it's all about giving value. That's all you're doing, right? Somebody is asking a question. They're clicking on your video because you know you're going to give them some sort of answer to that. And so, just think about that person, right? None of, none of ourselves matter. All that matters is that you walk away from this video feeling like you got something out of it. That it that it helped enhance your your day or your life or whatever. Right. So mindset. You've got to have your headspace. You've probably already thought about this channel a long time. Now you need some practical tips. What do you do? What are some of the things that you can do to make sure that your filming location, yourself personally, just what you're wearing, all of those things are in place. What are you guys' best tips as far as that goes? Location. Think about where you're filming. Are you gonna be in your house? Are you gonna be in your office? Are you going to be in the woods? What kind of location, first of all, sends the message of your brand or this space that you wanna be in. If you're doing a cooking channel, you should probably be in a kitchen. If you're doing a gaming channel, you wanna have some cool lights, make it look like a cool technology space. <laughs> I don't know what gaming channels should look like. <laughs> Whatever sci-fi, you think it's like branding. Of course, you see this done in movies all the time. They make sure that the setting for the character matches them. So if you're an accountant, you might be kind of a cool accountant with an interesting space, or you could be very uh, much more serious about your office space and it's very... But you don't have to get too caught up in that. Obviously you can dream big, but remember, what do you have available to you right now today? Sometimes we film in like short-term rental, Airbnb type locations, because that's a quick and cheap way to get into a space that looks like what we're after. And also you don't want your kids or your dog coming up to you and 
distracting your video process. I do think what you said is really important. Another reason why you might want to have a Airbnb space is that you would be able to stay there the night before and really get yourself mm, that's true. ready without distraction. And then when you know when the next morning comes, you just like nine o'clock, I start filming. Maybe you can set your gear up the night before. So basically you have your setup, you're at your Airbnb, you're ready to wake up the next day and get started. You know, it's all about creating systems that work for longevity. You're going to be making a lot of content in order to feed that YouTube algorithm monster, right? And so you wanna make sure that from the start, you have really great systems to track all of your videos from start to finish, you know, really good prep of your videos, you know. I think what's really important is a lot of times people will think, oh, I gotta write out this whole entire script for each of my videos and then it gets really overwhelming. But all you really have to do is just have bullet points, know how you're going to start the video, know how you're gonna get out of the video and then just sort of a path that takes you along the way from start to finish. Another really important system to build is one that makes filming your videos fun. Sometimes people will experience burnout or they won't be as consistent in the filming of their videos because it's not fun for them. They feel stressed about it. It's, it gives them anxiety, whatever it is. And I mean, I enjoy filming videos with these guys because we're fun. We're fun. We're really fun. <laughs> we enjoy our time together. So maybe you want to co-host. Maybe, you know, you know that the content is going to be just you, but you have to figure out a way to make it more fun for you to film your videos. This should be a joyful experience. And if you're not experiencing joy when you're filming, get creative about it. See how you can have a little more fun. And if you're having fun when you're filming your videos, you're not going to burn out as quick. You're going to be able to do this for the long haul and you're going to be able to really build a community with your YouTube audience because they're going to feel how much fun you're having when you're filming the videos. Yeah, I, I think in order to not give up or burn out, like you said, the key is really to number one, remember your audience. If you're doing it for other people, it's easier in a lot of ways than if you're all in your own place. Mm. I, some of our favorite YouTubers when you guys were kids were really people that um, some of them quit. And it was kind of sad mm. to see them quit because they emotionally, it was too overwhelming. And why was that? They were being someone else on camera mm. that they couldn't sustain. So you do have to find, while you're presenting and there's a certain amount of professionalism you might want to have, if you're completely playing a, an act, you'll burn out. It's too exhausting mentally. I can't play the professional character because I'm weird. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I just have to be myself. So if she can be weird, and when Stefania's okay. around, I'm weird. <laughs> Normally, I'm true. very, very normal. But <laughs> Stefania, weird. That's fair. <laughs> It'll help you to not give up. If she can keep being weird, and she's weirdified from her weird, <laughs> and then I'll kind of watch it all happen. And this channel, she will keeps be fine. us on track. Yeah. <laughs> So don't give up, keep that channel going. And the thing is, if you if you do get tired of the burden of all of it that's involved, the idea is that your channel should grow, your business with YouTube should grow, and eventually you can hire support to help you behind the camera. That's essentially what we do is we help entrepreneurs by being all on that side of the camera and all they have to think about is this part, the presentation and being personally ready. Oh, it makes such a big difference to have that support. And if you're, you know, like we've said a million times, if you need to get started, just get started. You know, if you don't have the budget to hire people, that's okay. But when you do get to that point where you can have, you know, producers behind the camera that are your first audience that are kind of giving you tips and tricks along the way that are stopping you because you said something really weird or, you know, they're watching and monitoring the lights and the camera and the audio and all of that it makes a huge difference. So we're excited for you to get to that point because yes. it is, it's it's a lot better. Oh, I'm feeling a lot less anxious about this already. <laughs> you know what you need? Top 10 tricks and tips. Mm. How to start YouTube. Where would I find that? Oh, we have a link in the description box below for our fantastic, amazing mini course which is the top 10 things that you need to know before you start a YouTube channel. It goes into all of the things we've talked about today into much more depth along with a bunch of other things that you need to know so that when you do have that first day of filming, you feel completely confident. We just want you to have a fun time while you grow your business on YouTube so that you can look back years and years later and enjoy every video from beginning to end and experience great success. We're your video allies. You've got this. We've, We've got, got your back. back. We can't wait to see what kind of content you create.